anti-aging antioxidants that reverse aging. Do they work? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over five anti-aging antioxidants and the science behind them to see if they actually reverse aging and promote youthfulness of the skin. I have to say that the findings are pretty surprising to say the least. Before I dive into the research, let me know down below in the comments if you take any antioxidants and what your results have been. I'm especially curious to know if you've seen any results or any significant changes in your skin. Hi, I'm Brandon, an anti-aging enthusiast just like you, bringing to you anti-aging research, tips, and vlogs every single week. If anti-aging topics are of interest to you, please consider subscribing. I would love to share this space with you. And please like this video too. It really helps out my channel and I appreciate it a lot. We are all familiar with antioxidants, but what are they exactly? Antioxidants are compounds that fight free radicals, which can damage tissue, cells, and skin. In fact, the free radical theory of aging suggests that free radicals, being downstream from UV and other environmental factors, contribute to skin aging. To promote youthful skin, here are five anti-aging antioxidants that you should should know about. The number one anti-aging antioxidants that may reverse aging of the skin is astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is a carotenoid from the vitamin A family, and astaxanthin is typically derived from microalgae. In general, carotenoids may help to support skin architecture and reverse aging by stimulating skin cells to generate collagen and elastin, inhibiting the activity of enzymes that degrade collagen, namely matrix metalloproteinases or MMPs, and exerting anti-inflammatory as well as ultraviolet radiation filter filtering effects for the skin. In one study, researchers investigated the effect of daily astaxanthin with collagen supplements in reversing moderately photoaged skin. The combination of astaxanthin and the collagen supplement significantly improved skin barrier integrity, reduced transepidermal water loss, and increased the expression of pro-collagen type 1 mRNA. The study showed that the astaxanthin combination had beneficial effects on skin elasticity as well as hydration, and as such, astaxanthin may be seen as a potential effective anti-aging anti antioxidant for the skin. A meta-analysis of nine randomized human studies found that oral astaxanthin was capable of significantly restoring moisture content and improving skin elasticity when compared with placebo. An animal study found that supplementation with astaxanthin reduced UVA-induced wrinkle formation and decreased transepidermal water loss. As mentioned previously, astaxanthin may help to regulate collagen and protect collagen by inhibiting those MMPs, those matrix metalloproteinases which degrade collagen, thus protecting collagen and promoting the youth of the skin. Astaxanthin is characterized by its pink hue, which you can see in things like salmon, flamingos, as well as red microalgae. Astaxanthin possesses potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory capacities. As such, I supplement with astaxanthin every single day in my omega-3 krill oil supplement. Omega-3 fatty acids from fish also have potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory capabilities for the skin, in addition to providing lubrication and moisture from the inside out. The second anti-aging antioxidant that may reverse aging of the skin is melatonin. And on this channel, you've heard me speak of melatonin quite frequently, and that's because it is a powerful antioxidant. Not only is it a neurohormone produced by the pineal gland in the brain in response to darkness, it is also a potent, powerful antioxidant that have researched benefits for the skin. Melatonin, also known as the sleep hormone, has demonstrated both in vitro and in vivo studies to have beneficial anti-aging properties for the skin and skin health. Melatonin has been shown to reduce oxidative stress, tamper down inflammation, as well as protect the skin against ultraviolet radiation, or UV, which is the primary driver of skin photoaging. Mitochondrial dysfunction, which is a significant contributing factor to aging, has been reported to improve with melatonin. Some research suggests that melatonin may also help to improve epidermal thickness. An ex vivo study of human eyelid skin showed that high-dose melatonin for six days significantly down-regulated MMP1 protein expression in the skin samples. The study also found that melatonin helped to reduce senescence and improved collagen and elastin fiber networks. Additionally, melatonin may activate something called NRF2, and this stands for Nuclear Factor Erythroid 2 Related Factor 2. While things like Brussels sprouts, broccoli sprouts, broccoli can also activate NRF2, melatonin seems to also activate the expression of NRF2, which orchestrates endogenous antioxidant systems and genes in the body to fight oxidative stress and free radical damage, thus protecting the skin and providing significant considerable anti-aging effects. Melatonin also possesses anti-inflammatory components, which may help to fight the effects of UV radiation on the skin. Melatonin supplements are available and do increase your endogenous melatonin secretion in the body. But there are a variety of other ways that you can naturally produce melatonin, and one of them that's really important in my opinion is increasing your exposure to darkness at night. Melatonin is activated and secreted from the brain when exposed to darkness. When you have lights on, when you're staring at a screen at night, you're suppressing your melatonin and thus suppressing the melatonin's effects on anti-aging. That's why it's really important to reduce screen time at night. Also blue light 
light from our screens and our devices suppress melatonin. So at nighttime, in addition to reducing my screen time, I tend to wear blue light blocking glasses just to boost my overall melatonin production. In addition, installing blackout drapes or blackout blinds may be helpful for reducing your light exposure at night, thus increasing your melatonin generation. Something that I found out quite recently is that sulforaphane also activates melatonin production. Sulforaphane is a compound found in broccoli sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, cruciferous vegetables that also activate that NRF2, but it seems that sulforaphane also significantly elevates melatonin production in the brain. And I found this out recently when I ate a lot of broccoli sprouts and broccoli and took a broccoli sprout extract in one day. And I was falling asleep at around 7.30 at night, which never happens to me. The third anti-aging antioxidant is selenium. Selenium is a trace mineral that has been shown to have extremely valuable antioxidant capacities. Selenium is involved in healthy aging via its support for the body's antioxidant defenses, in addition to immune functions and metabolic homeostasis. In terms of skin anti-aging, selenium packs a powerful punch in improving and promoting youthful skin and collagen. Researchers suggest that selenium can reverse UV light damage and inhibit wrinkle formation. In fact, one study found that a selenium-rich extract enhanced collagen synthesis, thus providing an anti-aging effect for the skin. Specifically, the study found that selenium decreased MMP expression as well as reduced elastase activity. This is important because MMPs as well as elastase break down collagen and elastin respectively. Researchers also suggest that selenium may exert a detoxifying effect for the skin. Selenium seems to have a synergistic effect with vitamin E. E, which is a vitamin, but also another powerful antioxidant. And they both tend to work together to eliminate skin peroxides, which can damage skin and contribute to aging. Selenium is the primary cofactor of superoxide dismutase. And this is an important antioxidant molecule that turns lipid peroxides into harmless molecules. Ultimately, glutathione peroxidase reduces reactive oxygen species and tampers down on that DNA damage. Some skin cell models show that selenium may help to protect the skin against UVA, which is a primary driver of skin aging. Selenium has also been shown to repair DNA damage in skin, suggesting that the antioxidant may reverse aging to a certain extent in the skin. And the fourth anti-aging antioxidant that may reverse aging of the skin is curcumin. And curcumin is the active component, the active anti-inflammatory and antioxidant component in turmeric. While the bioavailability of curcumin on its own is fairly low, when combined with something like black pepper extract or piperin, it increases the bioavailability and absorption significantly. Curcumin has been shown to reduce the number of collagen degrading enzymes in the skin, increase collagen synthesis, and accelerate maturation of collagen. Some research suggests that curcumin may reduce advanced glycation in products, which is basically when a sugar combines with a protein like collagen and damages that protein. So having something that may help to protect glycation is key for anti-aging. Additionally, given its anti-inflammatory nature, curcumin may help to combat what's known as inflammaging or aging associated with inflammation. Specifically, curcumin may reduce inflammation inflammation and oxidative stress associated with UV exposure, as well as exposure to pollution, which also damages skin. Research also suggests that curcumins may enhance the production of anti-aging proteins known as sirtuins, which play significant protective roles in both intrinsic and extrinsic aging. I do consume about a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric every single day with a little bit of black pepper, hoping for that accumulated effect. In all honesty, I'm probably not absorbing a ton of those curcuminoids in just powdered turmeric. Sometimes I will supplement with a curcumin curcumin extract that has a high amount of curcuminoids as well as black pepper extract and ginger extract just to improve that bioavailability and absorption. And the fifth anti-aging antioxidant is quercetin. Quercetin is a polyphenol that is found in a variety of fruits and vegetables. Researchers show that quercetin features both antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects and could thus play a role in skin rejuvenation. In one study, quercetin suppressed UV-induced MMP1 expression and prevented UV-mediated collagen degradation in human skin tissue. Furthermore, quercetin inhibited UV-induced damage. A mouse model showed that subcutaneously administered quercetin was associated with increased collagen content, decreased expression of aging proteins, and increased superoxide dismutase, total antioxidant capacity, and glutathione peroxidase. While these findings can't necessarily be extrapolated to humans, they do demonstrate the potential anti-aging power of quercetin for skin. Quercetin has also been shown to decrease UV-induced inflammatory cytokines and reduce senescence in skin cells. Quercetin can be found in things like apple skins, tea, onions, as well as some citrus fruits. I do supplement with quercetin on a daily basis, and I use a supplement that combines quercetin with bromelain as well as stinging nettle and vitamin C. Vitamin C and bromelain may help to just improve the overall absorption and bioavailability of quercetin. And 
and those are the top five anti-aging antioxidants for the skin that may help to reverse aging. Let me know down in the comments if there was anything I missed. Also, let me know down in the comments if you take any of these antioxidants and what your experiences have been. Thanks again for watching. Please like this video if you found it helpful, and please consider subscribing if you want to see more anti-aging videos like this every single week. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Bye.